So these jars that I found on Pinterest um, were my inspiration to do these nails. I really love the jars. Um, it was posted by countryliving.com. That's you know where they found the jars at. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. So I'm using Nina's um, Plum of the Earth. And then I'm using Simple Colors Big Daddy. <laughs> And then I'm using Revlon's um, Pink Lingerie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a sponge because I want to do kind of like a sun setting um, background. So I'm going to use these three colors and sponge them onto my nail. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to do this on my nails and I'll show you the process. So after I have cleaned my nails up, I'm going to draw a house. Um, I really thought I was recording that first house that I drew, um, but it's not that hard. It's kind of just drawing like arrows and then you're just filling them in and drawing a window. So um, that's what I'm doing on some of my nails. And then to add like detail, um, I'm kind of just going to draw like a tree um, on the side of my nail. And again, I'm, um, I'm using acrylic paint. So on my pinky, I'm going to draw a witch. So I'm drawing like a picket fence. Um, and then I'm going to draw a witch on her broom. So while I was doing this witch, um, I didn't think it was going to come out the way it did. Um, because I was really trying to be careful. But then I was just like, you know, let me just go ahead. So, you know, n making it look a little messy actually makes things look good. You know, so... Try to all to you know not always be super neat and you know stuff like that because you know it actually comes out good when you're really just you know kind of like drawing away. So here are the nails um, that I've done so far. So next I'm going to move to my thumb and I'm going to draw um, again a picket fence and I'm just going to draw like a spooky kind of looking tree. It really is just you know a tree um, with like branches extending so it couldn't be any easier. So on my index finger, I'm going to draw bats. Now these bats came out a little funky, so, <laughs> so please don't judge. Um, but yeah, um, they still kind of like tied into the whole nail design. So on my pinky, again, I'm going to draw a picket fence. And I'm not going to draw like a moon, a half moon, or a crescent moon. And then um, I'm just going to draw a little um, like gravestone. Um, you know, nothing crazy. 
And finally, on my thumb, I'm going to just draw again another house. Um, this one's going to actually like cover really like my whole nail, as you can see. And then I'm just going to draw a little tree on the side. So here are the finished nails. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You know, there are separate nail designs to each nail, um, but they all tie in together. Um, they're really easy to do. So I hope that you guys please subscribe and share with others and have a happy Halloween. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!